Hello and welcome to this video on how to link a building into the Toku Surface project. Before we link the building, we just want to modify this project a bit. So if we open one of the elevations, and then we will see when we have used the VIA template that we will have the different levels. So in this case, um, we will just delete some of the levels that we will not need. But before we delete them, it's quite important to know which of the level you have used to, um, to link the to topo surface to. And in this case, I have used the foundation level. So if I by mistake select the foundation level, and if I delete it, then we will see that uh, the site view in the project browser will also be deleted. So if I hit delete and say OK, now we can see that we no longer have a site view in this project. And of course, we need to have the side view, so I will just undo this command. And instead, I will just delete the roof level, the first floor, and also the ground floor. So I will select the roof, and if you're not able to select it, just use uh, the, the tab key. And just hit delete. And in this case, we will uh, keep the basement but we will just uh, rename it, so just select it, and in this case I will call it um, floor level, and say yes to this, and we will use this level to control the position of the building once we have li linked the building into this uh, project. Also I want to rename the, the foundation and call it level zero, Say yes to this, and then I will change the level to zero. And now we are ready to link the building into this project. So if I just go back to the side view, and then to link the building, I will go to the insert menu, and I want to link a CAD file or a Revit file, and just select. Um, the Revit file where you have the building and at the positioning in this case it doesn't matter so much which of them you will choose because we will uh, move the building afterwards um, so in this case I'll just choose a region to a region and click on open and we can now see that the building is uh, located within the plot but in this case I want to move it so I will place the building in the northern part of the plot. So I will just select the building and use the move tool and just move it to the northern part. And also I want to rotate the building so I will select the rotate tool and then determine the default position and then rotate my, my building according to the default position. So something like this. And if I go back to the elevation, then in this case uh, I'm not able to see the building, but if I go to the visual styles in the bottom and set it to wireframe, now I'm able to see the building, and we can see that the building has been placed according to the level zero, but we want to place it according to the level of the terrain. So in this case, I will just go to the side view. And now I need to know the level of the contour lines uh, which we have around the building. So I will go to the massing and side menu. Then I will select label contours and draw a line more or less perpendicular through the contour lines. And if I zoom in, I can see that this contour line is located 39.25 meters above sea level and this contour line is 39, 39 meters above sea level. So in this case I will place um, the building at the level of um, 39.40 meters above sea level because I will add the 15 centimeters which we need to have from the level of the terrain and then to the level of the floor. So if I go back to the elevation, 
and then I will link my building to this level right here and then I can use this level to place it according to the level of the terrain so first I will select the level of the of the floor level and use the align tool click on the floor level and then select the ground floor level of the project and I will lock these two together and then hit escape and now we can see that the floor level of the topo surface project and the floor level of the building project is now located at the same level so if I type in the level of the terrain say I want to have it 39.4 meters above sea level I will type in 39,400 and then hit enter then we can see that the building moved to the terrain and if we go to the 3D view we can see that the building is placed um, at the level of the terrain but we might want to check that the distance from the terrain and then till the top of the foundation is suitable with the 15 centimeters so if I go back to the side view and then I will draw a cross section through the building so I will go to the view menu and select section and just draw, draw a cross section and if I zoom in then the distance of the terrain to the top of the foundation needs to fit with um, 15 centimeters and we can see this one is uh, sufficient and this one is um, even better so I might want to modify it a bit uh, with the level of the terrain and just to show, the, show you the principle if you go to the side view again and if I need to modify the level of this terrain um, then when you have to hand in a, a site plan you want to show both the existing contour lines but you also want to show the, the new contour lines um, so what we can do is um, if I just turn on the shaded view if I select the site and then I want to make a copy of this uh, part right here so I will um, go to the copy to clipboard and then select the paste and I want to align to same place and if I just um, rename this this could be the existing topo surface and hit apply and if I just select it again and I just want to hide it in view the element and then the copy of this part I can call um, the new topo surface and hit apply and if I want to edit the um, terrain level around the building I will select it and then hit um, edit surface and for example in this case I can add some more points which I can use to edit the surface and I want to set it uh, relative to surface and if I place the points and hit escape and then afterwards I can use these points just to drag the contours a bit and we can now see that it influenced the terrain around the building so it will be something like this and I'm just accept it and then um, I want to change the the look of the contour line so I can see what is new and what is uh, existing so I'll just select the terrain again and then on the view I will uh, select override graphics and I want to override by element and if I select the, the top part right here projection lines 
and I can select a new type of pattern and if I try this long dash and click apply and ok and if I just set it back to wireframe and if I open the level that I just that I hide it, select it and then say on hiding view then it's uh, easy to see that uh, this is the existing line and we have the dash line right here which is um, the new terrain level so this is the principle of how to uh, link a building to a topo surface project and how to modify the, the surface around the building